It is August 10th, 2022, 5.15 p.m. Episode 1,775. Seems like forever since I did the last video, right? Uh, this, well, first I'll start by this. Uh, I know I did a cartoon about toilets and everybody else in the business did it too. When one dumbass cartoonist was like, I predicted it, and that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I can't stand that guy. But we all knew that people would be drawing toilet cartoons. We knew other cartoons would be doing it, but it's too much fun. Besides, how do you avoid the toilet when the toilet is part of the story? The, the day before the, the FBI searched Trump's residence uh, was a toilet story by Maggie Haberman tweeted and showed the photos of toilets with Trump's handwriting on documents inside the toilets. So it's kind of a big deal. So I don't really care. So I did a second one. So like, mm, yeah. Um, TJ is talking about, oh, you, you act like I'm, wait, wait, what's this? You act like one of the most reasonable people I've ever interacted That is weird. Um, TJ says, Cash Patel said Trump declassified all that info. I trust that dude more than any of you haters. So you trust Cash Patel, who has a history of being a liar. He's, he's hired to serve in the Trump administration because he was a Trump goon. He was hired for his loyalty, not because of his qualifications. Um, and he believes in election lies. So he's already a proven liar. It's just debunked. And he also deleted a whole bunch of texts himself. He He's broken the very law that he's out here defending Trump over. Look at this shit. It's hilarious, these goons, man. Also, whether it's declassified or not, Trump still stole it. Uh, you're, you're, you're skipping over the whole thing. Robert Cortina pointed out to you. Stealing is stealing. You know, that is illegal. So you just... Ugh, you suck. Thank you for clarifying and saying the truth there, Robert Cortina. I really appreciate that. We need to do that when goons are out here lying, okay? Camera Boy Video said more Americans get the news from Clay Tunes than from any other news source. Ha! Ah, most Americans who get news don't even know Clay Tunes exist. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, Sash just said, yeah, the law being applied to powerful people. Amazon's calling me. Hang on. That means they're lost. Hang on. That's taken care of. Uh, slight pause there. And, but where was I? Damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, Sasha said, yeah, the law being apply applied to powerful people. Is that where we left off? I think so. This is just a bunch of. Republicans screaming about this is, is hilarious because they don't even know what they're talking about. Like Cash Patel says that, uh, that the stuff was, was declassified by Trump. How does he know? Because Trump told him, the guy who told over 30,000 lies in four years? And, and if Trump did declassify the stuff, when? If he declassified it before Jan, uh, noon on January 21st, 2021, yeah, okay, maybe it's declassified, maybe. If he actually went through the, the efforts to declassify, not just point at 15 bucks and say, I declassify all of you, but it's still stolen. But if he declassified it after noon on January 21st, 2021, it's not declassified because he did not have that power anymore. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it now. Any more than he has the power right now to, to cite executive privilege. Um, so yeah, goons got a goon, right? And I don't understand why you guys are supporting all this lawlessness. You're supposed to be the law and order party. And now you guys actually have goons out there saying, Oh, defund the FBI because they did their job. Oh, no, no. And this is exactly what Trump wanted to do to Hillary Clinton. He wanted to politicize his Justice Department. Fuck you, goons. Bye.